you can make one image look like a film image, but it's not gonna work on everything else. Let's be honest, the real reason the 80s is trending is because of films. Regreso a la Dias de la Filmas. Vámonos. Gracias. Filmist is analog for digital. The retro film look is kind of trending, right? And there's these packs out there and, and some of them are good, some of them are not so good. The problem that you may have found is it looks good on their demo image and not so much on yours. So when we went to work on Filmist, we're like, we want film emulsions. We want the film look, the analog look. You can use it in Capture One, you can use it in Lightroom. You can use it in Lightroom Web and transfer over seamlessly to Lightroom Mobile on your phone and have all the looks. There's something magical about film. And so to say this look is this film felt a little disingenuous. And we wanted to do more than that. So we started by making films that emulated films. But then we'd study different color variants. We would look at our own scans where one film would look one way in one shot and another way in another shot, even though it was the same film. And then we tested and tested and tested. And I think this is one of the things that really sets Filmist apart. I can rely on it to say, well, hey, I want the portrait look, or I want the Kodachrome look, or I want the Velvia look. This is rich and it's beautiful. And it throws back to an era where photography was subtle, where light was important. They don't say, oh, wow, did you do some creative digital effect? They just say, oh, wow. And that's Filmist. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. Did I get the vibe there? <laughs>